Rui Lopez opening, Berlin, El Hermit, Berlin Wall Defense, 9.NC3K810.H3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. d4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nd6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop, opens up the d-file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn, attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. Nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. Qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. Kx d8 recaptures the queen. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. k8 moves the king away from the open d-file. h3 controls the g4 square and prepares a potential g4 pawn push. Games master. It is the final book action. That's fine. It is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. This ignores a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is best. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to win material. It is a miss. This ignores a more effective method for getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. 
this overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This enables the adversary to disclose an attack on a pawn. It is incorrect. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.